Go right ahead. suitcase out and my, my Disney lanyard. The first time button and the luggage tax? No, you're lying to me. Today? Oh, yes, we're going to Disney! That is one of the few very enthusiastic responses that Disney gets whenever kids find out, or even adults, find out that they're going to Disney World. <laughs> Today I'm going to inform you about Disney's rides, their meet and greets, and their presentations and performances. So let's start off with their rides. In Magic Kingdom, you can embark on a safari through many continents on the Jungle Cruise. In uh, the Hollywood Studios, you can go 0 to 60 in 2.8 seconds on the fastest limousine ride of your life. In uh, Animal Kingdom, you can go through the Himalayan mountains as you search for the Yeti on Disney's Everest. And in Epcot. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Lift off on Spaceship Earth. These rides, there are so many com common <coughs> factors that bring them together. But according to Bozarth, a professor at the State University of New York, humans are motivi motivated by rewards. So we all want this pleasure. And once we obtain these rewards, our brains release dopamine. This is the feel-good chemical that lowers our stress levels and just makes you feel good about doing this. So when, whether you are riding roller coasters or embarking on safaris, this is uh, whenever the dopamine is released, and that is why the Disney guests are so happy and pleasant to be around. Next, we're going to move on to the meet and greets. There are 37 meet and greet opportunities in, throughout the four Disney parks. For the lovers of princesses, there's Cinderella, Belle, and Aurora. For the lovers of sci-fi, there's Darth Vader and the Stormtroopers, and Chewbacca. And for the lovers of mischief, there are the two cartoon creators themselves, Chip and Dale, stealing a stroller. <laughs> <laughs> and for a, a young Olivia Hastings, who calls herself a Disney whore, she says the one person she goes back to every single June is Mickey Mouse. She claims that Mr. Mouse rep represents the timelessness of Disney, that generations to come have learned this face, and they love this face. And she says that the future generations will learn to love it just as much as we do. She says that every year she derives her own experience. Because the characters aren't allowed to speak, they only communicate through symbols. So when communicating through symbols, everyone has their own interpretations to these symbols. And next we move on to the 146 uh, presentations and performances. Disney World's Magic Kingdom presents the Parade of Lights, which include floats, characters, and many, many assortments of lights. Epcot presents the Fireworks Spectacular and Light Show over there. As you can see, they use a wide assortment of colors to create very vivid pictures. In Hollywood Studios, you become the judge. As you judge the raw talent, you decide whether who gets to pass, who fails, who moves on, and who ends up ultimately being the winner, winner of the American Idol experience. And in uh, Animal Kingdom, you dive under the, under the waves of the ocean to watch Finding Nemo, the musical. Karkovich and Grendler claim that 98% of the people in their study were motivated by the media around them in their lives. So this means that Disney has the opportunity <coughs> to invoke emotion, inspire, and <coughs> change people's thoughts and teach them life lessons. 
when instilling these life lessons, they do it in such a creative and memorable way that people can take it with them from time to come. <clears throat> so in conclusion, whether you're riding rides to get that dopamine thrill, you're meeting a hero or a personal role model, or you have the opportunity to learn a life lesson, Disney is able to get these kind of enthusiastic responses, like I demonstrated earlier, whenever people find out they're going to their parks. Plato claims that human behavior is influenced and stems from three sources, desire, emotion, and knowledge. Disney is able to positively influence behavior for generations because they were able to meet those three needs. Thank you.